Welcome back to the channel everybody. I'm Andre and if you've watched any of my other videos, you guys know I like using leftover brisket and I actually found a pack in the freezer yesterday. So today we're going to do a little play on the whole egg salad, tuna salad sandwich thing, but we're going to make a brisket salad sandwich. Hang on. It's going to be very simple, very little prep and let's just dive in. I'm going to keep this as simple as possible. We're just going to open this up and all we're going to do, ah, so, ah, smells so good. Instead of me trying to dice it, which I'm going to throw it in the trusty old little food processor and we're going to blitz it down and get it to the consistency I want. Perfect. Oh, that's perfect. Would have been good if I had a bowl ready. But anyways, there we go. Let's take this. Yeah, do it all. Well, yeah, it would be nice if I used the right size bowl. Let's just do this. Gonna show you. Beautiful. Yeah, so this is how I want it. Beautiful, nice and small. One thing I'm gonna do before I forget. Like I said, there's very little prep. That we're gonna need after. I promise you guys that I'd show you how to make some mayo yourself and this is the perfect opportunity. I'm not store buying mayo probably ever again because it's that easy and uh, let me just get the ingredients and uh, we'll whip it together. You know this is very simple. I'm going to list everything below but just take a nice clean oil. I'm using a, a very light olive oil. Olive oil, avocado oil, Stay away from the other seed oils. You know what? I bought myself this uh, Nutribullet thing. It was on sale. It's fantastic. I love using it. I'm not sponsored. But anyways, we're gonna put that in here. Start with the oil. Now everything's at room temperature. We have one egg that's at room temperature. We are going to take some lemon juice. You do need a little bit. Boop. You do need some mustard. A pinch of salt. I've got some roasted garlic. You don't have to add that, but I'm going to add a little bit in there. Just to give it a little bit of a different flavor. And that's it. That's that's all you need to put in here. Now at this point, if you have an immersion blender, you would use that. I have a very old one which doesn't work very well, so this thing is beautiful. The only thing is it doesn't have a very long cord on it, so I gotta... You guys ready? Because literally this takes seconds, so... Okay, got that done. Whoop. Just need to open this. Out of the way. Woo, look at that. Let me just get a spoon just to show you. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful goodness. So what we're gonna do. this. Just take some of this and get it to the way we want. We're just going to put some in here just to mix this. 
I gotta, gotta add more. Now the beauty of doing things yourself at home, you know exactly what's in it and it's that fresh. Now you can transfer that to a different uh, container, put it in the fridge. It's gonna have about a week shelf life because you have nothing bad in there. Okay, let's just uh, clean up a bit and uh, put this thing together. One thing I don't do is really baking. So I bought a nice sourdough bread yesterday. Baking's a whole other world. So we're gonna load this guy up with as much as you want. This is, remember, this is your sandwich. You uh, don't be shy. <laughs> I did earlier, I sauteed some onions and mushrooms because actually this takes the longest to do out of all of this. I just thought it would be nice. Have some of that sweet caramelized flavor on there. I do like tomato for the tomato. A little bit of salt just to liven everything up. Put that together. Oh, oh. And, 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 oh, before I get too messy, there we go. Looks, oh, I can't wait to dive in now. So simple, but fantastic. You know what, you can't beat that homemade mayo. It's so much better than the store-bought stuff. Oh, it tastes so good. And then, then that brisket, that classic brisket flavors, all the, oh, that's so good. And the onions and, yes, it's a little messy, but that is a fantastic sandwich. If you like this, you know what, you could use up any leftover roast or whatever you had to do this, but with the brisket, it just adds that extra flavor, tenderness. Like I said, that mayo, make it yourself. It is so simple to do. Oh, I'm happy. I'm hungry. I'm gonna go finish this off camera. So stop making you jealous. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, leave me some likes and comments and hit that subscribe. And uh, till next time. Happy eating.